This is Game 7 of the 2025 NBA Finals, and we are indeed in overtime. Yeah, it's no surprise for a series that has gone the full seven to now end up in overtime to decide it. MP has been carrying his team. You have to think the team will once again look to MP, especially if it comes down to taking the final shot with time winding down. on defense, so let's exactly. make sure we stay locked in. Nothing yeah. silly. You got All it. Right? No silly mistakes. Let's go. Game seven. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, MP. What's up, coach? You brought us this far. Now take us home. Come on, coach. I was born ready. And we are underway again here. Greg, less than three minutes to go. This is the moment you can only dream of. MP has a chance to get his team over the proverbial mountain in a game seven of the NBA Finals. It falls a beautiful three-pointer to push the lead up to eight. And I like how White shot it with confidence. He's reliable beyond the arc. Jokic with it. Oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. And Stan, this team wouldn't be where it is tonight without the sensational performance from MP. No doubt, Kevin. His stat line has been beyond impressive. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, and how great have these offenses been for these teams tonight? Just fantastic execution. Jokic. Oh, throw it down, Nikola Jokic. Oh, that's just too easy for Jokic. This is why defensively you've got to get him away from the basket. And with MP growing up in Chicago and following the Jordan dynasty so closely, now just moments away from starting his own era with a win here. And we saw early on that MP can defer too much, but in these playoffs, he's stepped up and has become the guy for this team in the clutch. Here's Jokic. The Bulls getting their last shot to go. Oh, Greg, that does not go. Trailing by 10. This is starting to slip away from him. Williams outside. Looking at the clock, just over three and a half minutes into OT. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. White fires, takes advantage. That J is good. And right now, White red hot. Just everything he puts up seems to go in. And here's Jokic. Oh, no good. Stan, they needed that one. Yeah, Kevin, look, they're trailing by 12. It's not looking good. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. Yeah, and at this point in the game, just protect the ball, make smart decisions, don't give them a chance to get back in the game. Does not go in. And you get the sense that he's hit a wall here in OT. He just hasn't been much help to them at all offensively. Levine against Porter. Wide outside. Six to shoot. Puts it up from deep. Gordon with the rebound. And coming down to the final seconds, Greg, you can feel it in the building. A rambunctious atmosphere as they prepare for this great title. And how about the grin on his face? That sparkle in the eyes. All the work and sacrifice about to be rewarded. This is amazing. MP leaving everything out on the floor here in overtime. Craig, this is unbelievable to watch. And this is what dreams. And they've done it. They are the NBA champions. No, 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 no. Yo, MP. Yo, what's up with you, man? You doing another one of those visualization exercises? I was. 
All right, well, look, I've been calling you for a minute, okay? It's like you're on a different planet. Listen, you got to fully immerse yourself in the experience that you're trying to manifest. If it doesn't feel real, then it doesn't work. Okay, you're right. All right, so what are you manifesting this time? I got that goal set and meeting later on with Coach Tucker and Cliff. Okay. And I was visualizing how I want my rookie year to go. Okay, cool. Well, judging by that goofy-looking grin you got on your face, it must have went pretty good, huh? Let me guess, rookie of the year. Even better. A championship, bro. Ooh, I was close, though. Okay, look, on that tip, when you get to the meeting, they're going to ask you, what kind of player do you want to be? Mm -hmm. All right? Have you visualized that yet? As a matter of fact, I have. Well, great. What do you see? Come on, man, you see it. <laughs> you spent a lot of time thinking about this, didn't you? Yeah, only my entire life. Now, did you want something, or were you just coming in here to try to interrupt my meditation, man? <laughs> nah, nah, man, I'm here on official business, all right? I know we boys and all, but I am your manager, okay? Still can't believe I let you talk me into this one, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the power of persuasion, right? And it's one of the best skills you can have as a manager. All right, Mr. Manager. Manager Wade, what's up, man? All right, so I was coming here to remind you about that goal setting meeting you got today, but you all over that, though. 100%. All right, look, don't be late, okay? Because Coach Tucker hates when people are late. It's at the arena, right? Yeah, it's in Cliff's office. All right, got you. Okay, good. Now let's talk about pickup hoops. Oh, nah, P. You're not about to tell me I can't hoop at the park, man. I could get hurt just walking down the street. I can't worry about that, man. No, 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 that's not my angle. As a matter of fact, I was going to tell you I found the guys in the city who run the best games, okay? Chris Manning and Shakedown. I dropped a pin for you so you can talk to him whenever. Okay. Nice, man. Good looking out, bro. Hey, no doubt. <laughs> hey, anything <laughs> else or what's up? Oh, uh, yeah. Walk with me. What's this? Well, I've been thinking. This moment. Start to your NBA career. I mean, we talked about this for as long as we've known each other, man. Facts. You put in a ridiculous amount of work to get here. That's also true, man. Yeah, so I just, you know, wanted to give you something you could look at to remind yourself of how far you come and so you can appreciate the journey. Yo, is this that club league ticket from when you was out there talking trash in the parking lot, bro? <laughs> Yo, it is, it is. And when you found out I was moving to Plainview, you were big mad. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I'm not going to lie, man. This is outstanding. Wow. This, is, this is hitting me, man. It's just a small token. So what are you gonna do now? 
head to the arena, get there nice and early for your meeting. I'm gonna hang back for a little bit, man. This is this is taking me back. You do you. I'll catch up with you later, right? Yo, what you doing here in Plainview, man? I live here now. And it was either Wolfpack or Dynasty for Club League, and I didn't want to play with you. So I chose Wolfpack. Yeah, so you want the scouts to see you playing on the losing team and see a star on that, okay. I'm gonna get the scouts to notice me by shooting every chance I get. I mean, if I play with you, you'll be yelling at me to make the extra that's pass. That's right, because yeah. I want to win. Okay, that's all you think the scouts care about? Yeah, the scouts care if you can win, bro. Okay, then you really are stupid, bro. Well, let me give you some game, man. <laughs> here we go. All right. Scouts only care if you got the skills that translate to the next level. Mm -hmm. That's it. Point blank in the story. Well, you only prove that by winning. No, you prove that by showing how you can help them win at the next level. All right, I'm... I'm, I'm cocky, but I'm not stupid, MP. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not, a, I'm not a high flyer. I'm not a rim protector. So if I want to leave this broke downtown, I have to prove I can shoot. That makes sense, bro. Because you're small. Man, you ain't got to be wimpy to shoot out the gym. But since you care so much, I'm going to give you that L you've been asking for. Yeah, I right? bet. All Let's right. do it. Bet. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our presentation of Illinois Club League Basketball. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Danny Hogger and Drake Hugo. <laughs> Some of the future stars of the region look to hone in their skills as we have the Wolfpack hosting the dynasty. And to call this a rivalry might be underselling it. This is more of a feud than anything. These clubs really dislike each other. And the Wolfpack would love to play spoiler in this one, looking to put an end to the dynasty's 11-game win streak. Yeah, Joe, and both of these teams have plenty of talent to get it done tonight. The Wolfpack are only 7-4 in the season, but this roster can play with the best of them and can pull out a win against just about anyone. And how excited are you for this one? This is about as intense a game gets at the club level. These teams genuinely dislike each other. And they double up MP. Back to Hawkins. Fisher. Five to shoot. To the inside. MP with the bucket. And Drake, you talk about the rivalry between the Wolfpack and Dynasty. They've both had their moments. They certainly have, and I would expect a very physical game here tonight. That's the bare minimum when these teams play. Now Wells hits the trifecta. This has been the core focus of Wells' game offensively. He's just so confident in his ability to hit from that range. MP outside. Back to Dillard. Fisher. Back to Luan. Now here's Dillard. Inside. Here's MP. And Robinson pulls it down. And for Eric Dillard, he's a standout at the high school level in the area, but most scouts have him as a middle recruit. He can just disappear from games too often, though. Great shot, but too many easy mistakes that he has yet to fix. Even with the decent coverage that time, he has confidence to show the three. Yeah, I wouldn't bet against him in that situation this time. MP, defended by Robinson. It's Dillard outside, to the middle. Here's MP. Hopkins, from deep. Dillard, no good. Swings it to Stomper. Nice work by Stoffer. He doesn't back down and earns himself a trip to the line. First team foul. 
At the line for the Wolfpack, Michael Stock shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And the leader of this Wolfpack team, without a doubt, is Patrick Wells, a three-star recruit who has a chance to play at the next level. Hey, he's not the biggest or most athletic player on the floor, but when he warms up, I mean, look out, the kid can straight up shoot the ball. If he can bulk up and add some strength, he could be a factor in college. And that one's good from MP. Well, MP knows he can score in close when he needs to. Right there, he did just that. Robinson sets the screen. For three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Terrific find. Everyone loves playing with someone who can move the ball like that. Hotkins outside. Luan. Down low. Stolen by Robinson. Here's James. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Well, Timmerman is no floor general, but he's not going to miss an open teammate. The dynasty trail. You look at this Wolfpack roster, a lot of players who will play college ball, but Patrick Wells could be the barometer. And they are ecstatic to have him with the team. Add some much-needed shooting. They're hoping he can change the fate of their season. Of all the guys who want to leave open on the perimeter, he's the last guy on the list. Outside, Timmerman. Wells. There's the triple. MP grabs the miss. He couldn't capitalize on the fourth coverage, and the defense has to feel a little bit lucky that he missed. He's got to give that shot another chance. Now here's MP. Get there, get there. Kicks it out to Hotkins. It's Dillard outside. MP. Pass to Hotkins. It's Dillard outside. Another shot. The Wolfpack in the lead. And when Patrick Wells joined this team, he added some much needed shooting that elevated this team to the next level. Ding. Yeah, just like an elevator jump. Really dialing up the damage potential this team now has from deep. Now here's Fisher. Here's MP. MP tacks on the extra point, finding ways to help his team even through the contact. So it's both teams making a change here. And the free throw, no good. And so it looks like the Dynasty will retain possession here. Called by the Dynasty. Substitution for the Dynasty. MP. Eric Fisher. Brett Hawkins! Substitution for the Wolfpack. Carter, right side. Pass to James. Carter, Michael Stauffer on the wing. Now it's Carter, outside. Shot clock at five. No good on the three. And with a showcase game like this and tonight's rosters, you can expect a lot of college scouts in the stands. The importance of this game, setting the narrative of each player's potential. Opinions are forming about these players, and each minute could be another pro or con in each scout's report. Showing off his athleticism there. MP with some hops, and his teammates are hyped. Pick by James. Tries a three. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. The Dynasty leading. Well, halftime not too far away, and MP and Wells have both had their moments. And the talent gap between these two doesn't look that big if there's even a gap at all. Sweet find by Fisher. Doing more than advertised, setting up scoring for others. Now it's Carter outside. Fires the three. That doesn't fall either for Deshaun Carter. Hawkins, left side. Passes to MP. Rebounded by the Wolfpack. The size on the bench for both teams is formidable. Oh, yeah, Danny, this team is stacked. I was looking up to some of the players walking in as we set up tonight. Woo, they're tall. I know one thing, though. I wouldn't take too many shots inside with either side. Of the and he knocks down the first one. Carter is just such a cerebral player. When you talk about him, you just have to admire how much he prepares for every single game. Dish to Fisher. 
MP defended by Robinson. Hopkins with it. Fisher outside. To the paint. Here's MP. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That is exactly why you don't leave your feet until the shooter elevates. He went for the pump fake. Hook, line, and seek. Now Robinson. That's good. And Deshaun Carter with the assist. Carter has such a high basketball IQ. He's always looking for his next move and trying to find the open shooter. Here's the dynasty. They lead by four. Well, the big name in the showcase has to be MP. He's a five-star recruit and has a clear path to the NBA with his skill set and athleticism. And so oh! to see him take over the game. They want to see him be athletic. They want to see his instinct and moves on the floor. Because sometimes he can defer it a bit too much. That's a pretty hard play to defend against. He just used his height that time down low. A great part of MP's approach is that even with all the scouting attention, he hasn't shied away from drawing contact or being physical, and he continues to focus on doing the work week in, week out. And here's Eric Dillard outside. Rebounded by the Wolfpack. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they can use the clock to their advantage. Pass to Timmerman. Robinson. Outside, Timmerman. Six on the shot clock. Over to the left wing. Deshaun Carter from the outside. MP grabs the miss. A lot of bricks put up off his shots. And one reason is he keeps trying to force it when he's guarded. Move the ball around. Dillard. Here's MP. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And that concludes the first half. Dynasty ahead. They're up by nine. And plenty more to come right after this. The teams have had their break. The Wolfpack and Dynasty getting ready to kick things off here in the second half of play. The Wolfpack trail. And in club play this season, the Wolfpack enter tonight at 7-4, while the Dynasty are a perfect 11-0. And, and I'd say we could throw out the record books, Joe. Whoosh! I threw mine right across the table. Sorry, Drake. Because of the history of these regional rivals is so complex, both teams thrive on denying the other the chance to win in big games like this one. Now here's MP. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at 9. Kicks it out to Hotkins. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Outside, Timmerman. Pass over to Robinson. Over to Juan. Robinson's shot is off. The fadeaway. It allowed him to get the ball over the defender, but he didn't get any touch on the shot. Here's Hopkins. And the Dynasty tack on two more. And Hawkins knows when he should shoot the ball. Terrific job nailing the mid-range J right there. And for Zach Timmerman of the Wolfpack, he moved here from Iowa not too long ago. Yeah, we haven't seen too much of him, and I know the Wolfpack would have liked to see more of him. Unfortunately, he's been plagued by back problems, which can't be fun. I wonder how long he'll be able to keep playing for. Now here's MP. He's got 17. Back to Dillard. Yes, and it's MP picking up the assist. Working off the feed. Dillard's a very solid shooter. They just can't get anything going offensively. And you can see the frustration mounting. They just don't know who to turn to for points. His mojo is out of whack. Offensively, he just can't get anything going for him. Well, when you play this game, sometimes cold streaks like this are unavoidable. Now here's Luan. He's got five. Okay, what appeared to be an easy two points, it just went straight out the window. Passes to Wells. From outside the arc. And once again off the mark by the Wolfpack. Well, you think about what sets MP apart on this Dynasty team. His athleticism you rarely see at the club level. He's been stunning, Joe. When he's driven, he's physically capable of explosive feats. Speaking of, I'm setting my phone up right here because I think we've got a great angle for some viral content. And it's Hotkins missing. And the Wolfpack half possession. 
for three. Patrick Wells, and that's good. You know what? Good decision there by Wells. He thought he had a look and decided to pull up. On the wing, Michael Juan. Dillard, guarded by Wells. Passes to MP. Kicks it out to Hopkins. Back to MP. And it's the Wolfpack with the rebound. And we're here in the gym of the Plainview Panthers. It's a familiar floor to some players in our game today because they go to high school here. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, home court advantage is everything in a contentious game like this. A little extra bit of comfort might make a difference. You can't count anything out in such a key to defer. Now here's Luan. He's got five. MP. It's Dillard outside. Back to MP. And that one's out of bounds. The dynasty will retain possession. Ooh, and a dangerous pass that almost turned into a seal. It would have been a great defensive play. Can't fault the effort. Here's Well. Ten points for him. Swings it to Stauffer. Here's Robinson. It's hauled in by Eric Diller. Fisher outside. And here's MP. And Robinson pulls it down. And so here it's the Wolfpack. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. And Patrick Wells outside, on target from long range. They rely on him to produce, and he's certainly been up to the task. It's Dillard outside. Dish to Fisher. Here's MP. Looking to end the drop. Can't get the layup. Watch outside. Wells outside. And the layup's good off the glass. And on the bench for the Wolfpack, Coach Barry Bay. He's been with the program several years now and is trying to continue the success they've had this past decade. Yeah, and standing directly in his path once again is the dynasty, but with new leadership on the court from Patrick Wells. Coach is hopeful that the tide is about to turn for the pack. And don't doubt it, that was no simple rebound. He bodied his man up nice. Now a timeout called by Wolf. Substitution for the dynasty. Substitution for the dynasty. And the Wolfpack with possession. They trail by seven. And Patrick Wells outside. It's Junior with the rebound. And it's the Dynasty with the ball. And here in the second half, you have to say that MP and Wells both have had the same impact with their scoring. MP is the big name in this one, but Wells has been right there with him. He's come up here and matched MP shot for shot. Now here's Cobb. MP, defended by Fresh. Michael Luan for three. Good, and the assist goes to MP. When I talked to Wolfpack shooting guard Deshaun Carter pregame, he had a tablet with some personal scouting notes, animated plays, and video highlights. Yeah, Danny, I was looking at his tablet, and he even had my NBA franchise with creative players to represent each team. That level of dedicated planning makes him a database of information on these teams. Now, here's Cobb. Back to MP. And there's the call on Wells. That's his third foul of the game. And the Wolfpack making a change here. And it's the Dynasty with the ball. Leading by as many as 14. Pass to Hopkins. Outside the one. MP. Clock is at three. 
He hits it just before the shot clock expires. If he gets even an inch of space, he will make an opponent look very beatable. Up top, it's Wells. Dillard covering. The Wolfpack again can't hit it. On the wing, Brett Hotkins. It's Dillard outside. Fisher. Passes to MP. Attempts an eight-footer. Sinks that one from the post. And you love how MP has been able to put up the points with all the scouts watching. Here's Wells. Hold in by the dynasty. Potkins outside. MP with the rock. Guarded by Wells. Hook loose. And they double up MP. Banked in off the glass. It's very easy to see why MP is so high on the scouts list with how he's scoring tonight. Timmerman, Luan covering. And Patrick Wells outside. Kept alive by the Wolfpack. The three. It's hauled in by Eric Fisher. They're making this a runaway. At this point, the only question is just how big the lead will eventually become. Dillard with it. It'll be Timmerman picking him up. Watch the screen. To the inside. He gets that Four, one to fall. Three. This run has really put them in the perfect position. And with no signs of slowing, they aim to keep expanding that lead. Yo, turn it up. Outside Stoffer. And he's going for the alley -oop. Dillard with it. Inside. Here's a No stopping him there. Jams it in as he an opportunity for a three-point play. Drew Robinson picks one up. One shot. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Outside, it's Andrews. Now here's Cordova. Not a lot of room. Master Carter, Johnson, who's five on the clock. And once again off the mark by the Wolfpack. It's Dillard outside. That will do it. Put it in the books. The Dynasty continue their amazing start to the season and now stand at 12-0. Great win for them here. A real gem. You can see why the Dynasty have been the team to beat. Great execution for them. Win it, Matt. Yo, she was here. I didn't see her. Yeah, she came with her cousin. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, uh, man, you mind if I talk to him real quick? I apologize, bro. Hey, look, I know we butt heads over the years, but we go to the same school now. Bro, are you thick in the head or something? I don't like you, man. Look, I ain't trying to be your best friend. I'm just trying to win some games. All right, right? That's, that's fine. Yeah. How about we talk on the court? And off the court, you and me win cool. Great, that's a great attitude. It we don't win in states idea. like yep, that. Yep, and I don't care about states. Yeah, that's because you're playing for the scouts. Right, right, and right? that's because you're playing for the fantasy. What, you think You think they're going to rebuild the factories because you passing a little Jimmy in the clutch? You really want to help these people? How about you take over, make the lead? Then when you got some actual power, you can actually help these people. All right, stop this nice guy hiding behind that when the truth is... You scared to become the player you need to be in order to build a real dynasty. This is just a costume, bro. These words, meaningless. Unless you put something behind it. Yeah, I... Yeah. Think about it.